Hi everyone, today Phone Arena is taking a look at the Casio GZ1 Commando 4G LTE, currently available from Verizon Wireless with a $99 contract price. The uh, Commando 4G LTE is pretty much a follow up to the original uh, GZ1 Commando that came out two years ago in 2011. Uh, main difference here with the new unit is that this one does run on Verizon's 4G LTE network, um, but it's also a little bit more refined. The uh, previous model had a lot of orange accents on it. As you can see, this one, it's a little bit more uh, subdued, just a little bit of orange down here where the uh, front stereo speakers are. The uh, main display has been increased from 3.6 inches to 4 inches, but unfortunately the uh, resolution still remains uh, WVGA with a 480 by 800 pixel resolution. So because of that, the um, text and images aren't going to be quite as crisp as a uh, 720p display, but still not too terribly bad uh, for this device. Up on top here, we have a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera, and on the left side, you have the volume rocker and also a uh, tactile t uh, key here that can be assigned for different functions. Uh, right now, it's assigned by default for the uh, glove mode. Up here on the top is the lock and power key, but as you can see, it's kind of... Um, flat and uh, small so it's not really that easy to find just by touch. You kind of almost miss it there. I uh, wish that was a little bit larger. Uh, you also have the 3.5 millimeter headset jack uh, enclosed here behind a rubber o-ring. On the right side is the micro USB port again enclosed by a protective rubber o-ring and also uh, charging connections here for a uh, charging dock. Around on back is a 8 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash. To remove the battery cover, you've got a uh, locking mechanism on here. Uh, same thing, a rubber o-ring to protect the uh, internal uh, battery. When you move this over to free, you can pop out the uh, 1800 milliamp battery and access the uh, micro SD card and a SIM card slot. So overall, the uh, phone is um, designed pretty well. It's uh, really made for uh, active individuals, people that use their phone uh, outside a lot. Uh, it does come with a military uh, specification on there to uh, withstand the elements. It's a military standard uh, 1080, I'm sorry, 810G certification. Uh, basically what that's going to give you is um, it's going to really take any abuse you can uh, throw at it. It can withstand a four foot drop. It can also withstand a water immersion at one meter for up to 30 minutes as well as rain, dust, and temperature extremes. Also a uh, salt water spray, uh, humidity up to 95%, vibrations, and also solar radiation. And also there's a Corning Gorilla Glass 2 across the front of the phone uh, to help protect the screen and give it that extra durability. Um, it is a candy bar style. It does fit uh, pretty comfortably in the hand and not too big or overpowerful, um, but we do kind of not particularly like this V shape down here. I wish it was maybe a little bit more uh, more rounded like it is at the top, but still not too bad overall. And like we said, it's it's really rugged, has a nice uh, plastic rubbery, uh, rubberized feel to it, so it can definitely withstand uh, pretty much any abuse you can throw at it. Unlike most other smartphones on the market that come with Android Jelly Bean, the uh, Casio GZ1 Commando uh, 4G LTE is still running Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich, though this isn't really that big of a deal because the uh, device is still uh, pretty quick and smooth here. It actually has uh, Casio's uh, GZ uh, skin layer over top of it 
So um, you do get some uh, nice effects here. It's not quite as customizable as um, HTC Sense or Samsung TouchWiz, but overall it's still pretty uh, easy to use. Um, as you can see, there's a total of seven home screens. Uh, moving between them, uh, not really any lag or any, uh, or any issues here. Uh, going into the app drawer, again, pretty uh, quick and smooth, and also into the uh, widget. So for the interface, it's uh, not the best we've seen, but we do like um, that it's uh, easy to use, though we do kind of wish that it did have a jelly bean instead of ice cream sandwich, uh, since this is 2013 after all. Exclusively to the uh, Casio GZ1 Commando 4G LTE is its uh, assortment of GZ Gear apps. As you can see right now, I have some of those app widgets here on the desktop, but you can also uh, get to it directly from the app drawer. I'm going to load up the main screen here. Uh, first one here is a Earth Compass. Kind of shows you your current location and also uh, where you are in relationship to uh, other things around the uh, the world. Like right now, here's National Parks of the uh, United States. Another feature here is the thermometer. We'll see what it pulls up here. It says the current temperature is 85. Um, I can assure you. The room here is not 85 degrees, it's probably closer to 74, so um, the temperature seems to be about 10 degrees off, but it may be actually reading uh, more of the internal temperature of the phone. Also is a tides graph, which is uh, pretty good for a fisherman. We'll show you when the high tide and low tide is for your specific area. Okay, it looks like it's taken a little bit longer to load this up. Okay. So right now it's saying it's about uh, 3 hours and 39 minutes till high tide. There's a sun, moon, rise and set. Right now, since it's a quarter to six in the afternoon, you can see the uh, sun is getting uh, close to setting about uh, two hours away. And we can also switch to the moon. And it looks like the moon has just, okay, here we go. Looks like the moon has actually risen quite a bit, um, but it's actually uh, dark right now. There's a, a stargazer. Kind of similar to what you would get on a Google, um, Google Sky map, but still a little bit different here with that. There's a walking counter. There's a, a virtual trek that you can do. And there's also uh, this other setting in here that will actually uh, count the amount of steps that you've taken on uh, each individual day. And lastly, there's a barometer. Which will show you the current atmospheric pressure in your area and can also uh, track that over a period of time. So it does have those uh, handy features on there as well. Uh, another app exclusive is the GZ World app. What that's going to do is load up a uh, map here and kind of tell you where you currently are and uh, what you can do is actually do your own routing. So like say if you're out camping or something like that and you want to 
have the GPS automatically pin your locations. You can do that and then can easily you know, find your way back a certain trail or even if you're in an area that you're not familiar with. So it's uh, definitely something interesting that you can do here on the phone as far as uh, pinning and mapping your route. You can also do uh, manual pin and uh, you can also do uh, photo as well to specific GPS locations. So we do like the extra software on here that's with the uh, GZ Gear and GZ World. The standard web browser that is included works uh, pretty well. As you can see, uh, kinetic scrolling is uh, pretty quick and smooth here. Also a uh, pinch to zoom. A little bit of a stutter, um, but not too terribly bad. Um, like we mentioned, uh, since this phone uh, does come with uh, 4G LTE, uh, it can get pretty decent uh, download and upload speeds on here. When uh, we used the uh, speedtest.net app, uh, we were able to get uh, right around uh, 28 megabits per second for downloads and about 8 megabits per second for uploads. So that's pretty uh, decent when compared to other uh, 4G smartphones for Verizon. Um, the uh, Casio Commando here also includes uh, Wi-Fi 802.11bgn at the uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is not supported. Um, there's also Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, since this phone is also global roaming uh, capable, uh, you can use it in a quad band uh, GSM and also a dual band UMTS and HSPA networks while overseas. So as far as the uh, internet and uh, world uh, connectivity, uh, it does uh, pretty decent as it's all uh, pretty much combined into one unit. Even though the device comes with a 8 megapixel autofocus camera, we weren't really that impressed by the uh, the results. Um, there's a definite softness to all the images instead of being nice and crisp and clear. Um, also, the uh, autofocus sometimes doesn't seem to work all that great. Uh, we also noticed that the auto white balance um, doesn't really do good uh, reproducing uh, colors properly. Uh, most images seem to have a little bit of a bluish hue to them that's a kind of unnatural. Indoor images also really aren't that great. There's a plenty of grain in the images and when the light level decreases down and you go to use the flash um, it's pretty much dark. It's the, the LED flash really isn't going to help out things all that much. Um, also the uh, device can record video at a 1080p resolution uh, but because it's limited to only 16 frames per second, uh, recording video is really going to be a nail-biting experience to play back uh, due to the low frames per second and everything being real uh, jerky and stuttering when watching videos. The standard music player also works pretty well. As you can see, there's tabs across the top here for artists, albums, songs, and uh, playlists. Um, Due to the front stereo speakers, music actually sounds pretty good and uh, can get pretty loud and full toned. There's also a selection of uh, equalizer settings here that you can select from or you can manually adjust the equalizer settings. And if you have your headphones connected, you can then adjust the bass boost and 3D effects. Call quality on the device was also pretty good as uh, voices on our end sounded clear and natural and people that we called also said that we sounded uh, really clear and fully toned on their end as well. Didn't really have any signal or reception problems either. 
But uh, one of the main features here is, is the stereo speakers, and that really comes in handy if you use the uh, speakerphone, since uh, it can get really loud, and uh, that you can still make out what the people are saying, and you don't get that crackling sound that you do like on uh, some other phones when using the speakerphone. So the speakerphone on the Casio does a really good job on the uh, on the device. Um, the included 1800 milliamp battery uh, was able to provide us with about eight hours of continuous talk time on a full charge or about two days of mixed usage. Now if you happen to be um, out on a camping trip or hiking or you know something like that and uh, you're going to be using the device or the different uh, GZ uh, gear apps you may want to look into the extended battery uh, since it comes in at a 2920 milliamp capacity so that would definitely give you a lot longer uh, talk time and also usage time uh, for the different apps that are on the phone. So overall, if you're looking for a rugged and outdoor durable Android smartphone for Verizon Wireless, pretty much your only choice at this point in time is the uh, Casio GZ1 Commando 4G LTE. Uh, due to the uh, military uh, certification specifications, um, it can really withstand pretty much uh, anything you can throw at it, and it does have an attractive $99 contract price point. Um, we do like the overall appearance of the phone and the features, but a few things like we mentioned are lacking. Um, the processor, it's uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual core, so it competes all right with other dual core phones, but faster dual core, quad core phones, um, it's not going to be as fast as that, but we still didn't really have any, any issue as far as uh, processing power on the phone. Uh, we do wish though that the display was a little bit larger, uh, maybe 4.3 inches and being in a 720p instead of a WVGA resolution. Uh, we think that would have helped out as well. Uh, the screen also is a little bit dim uh, when viewing in uh, direct sunlight, so uh, the screen should also be a little bit brighter. But overall, uh, we're pretty impressed with the uh, device, and like we said, it's uh, currently available through Verizon for a $99 contract price point. So if you want to check out some more information about the Casio GZ1 Commando 4G LTE, be sure to visit our website at phonearena.com.